this is how I play the game! Sound good? I seriously, I'm not even exaggerating. If anything is like seriously wrong ever happened with my health, I'd have to open a GoFundMe. I don't even know what else I would do. Because I have, you know, nothing I can do. Or, you know, here's the thing. Some people say, well, sell the house. Yeah, but if I sell the house, now you're putting me under even more stress, right? What if I have something seriously wrong with me and I should be relaxing and trying to recuperate, but now I got to try to figure out how to sell the house and sell everything in the house and move across the country. You know what I mean? It's not viable. It's not going to happen. So that's kind of the, the shitty situation I'm in right now because of our government. Thank you very much. I'm not a whiny baby. Seriously, thanks so much, government. I really appreciate that both Democrats and Republicans are so busy nitpicking and arguing with each other and calling each other names like little five-year-old children that they get absolutely nothing done in our government anymore. It's just, they shouldn't even go. They should just stay home and that way save all of our taxpayer dollars that pay their salaries so that we could just fucking just get on with our lives, you know, because they don't do anything. What the fuck have they done? Nothing. Nothing's gotten done. They just deadlock each other. So it's both sides' fault, you know, and it's funny because there's some things I'll agree with the Democrats, there's some things I'll agree with the Republicans, and there's some th things I disagree with both sides. In this case, healthcare, both sides have miserably failed. Both. I have no fucking self-control. Why am I toxic? So, that's the deal, folks. That's why I wasn't here yesterday. I'm back today. I'll do my best. You know, I'm going to have physical pain in my neck. There's nothing I can do about it. It sucks. I'm hoping that over the next couple days, the swelling and pain will go down. And hopefully, you know, I'll be back to normal. Because I have many, many new games to cover for you. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the one year anniversary of me returning to Twitch. That's right. It was one year ago when, per your feedback, I made the decision to bite the bullet. And come back to Twitch TV and start streaming here again. After streaming on YouTube for two years and literally getting nothing whatsoever out of it. I made no ad revenue on the streams uh, at all. That was significant. I, you know, didn't get any new notoriety or, or anything from it. It was really a joke, honestly. It was fan service. Uh, and trying to buy into their YouTube gaming bullshit, which was complete nonsense and didn't help anybody. I decided to come back to Twitch. <clears throat> and boy, was that a good decision. Let me tell you. Um... Let me tell you, folks, Whew. because if I weren't here, that would have been the end of me. Last year in, in February, when the bubble broke and YouTube lost all their advertisers and everything, I would have been gone forever. I would have been like, well, I'm done. I'm screwed. I probably would have lost my house. I would have had to either try to find a cheap place or I, more than likely I would have had to quit everything, sell the house and move back to Connecticut. And I wouldn't even be doing this right now um, because I'd be making 50% less money than I was previously. I probably would have had to move back to Connecticut, and then with the profits of selling this house, just wrote it out for a few months till I found a shitty job there, uh, and my life would have sucked. So, thank God that you guys and gals, alright, convinced me to come back to Twitch. You saved my ass. Even though we didn't know what was going on, we had no idea that there was impending doom on YouTube with their ads. We didn't know that. But it just worked out somehow. I don't know how this keeps happening, because this has happened to me multiple times during the course of me doing YouTube for a living, is that something happens, we make a change, and then somehow it, it was a good thing we did the change, because then the, something happened horrible, right? So, thank all of you to welcome, to, to, to welcome me back. Thank all of you to convince me to come back. You guys are really the reason I'm here, still, honestly, alright? Some people are just fucking idiots, what else can I say? You gotta be an idiot. I don't understand what they were thinking. As of... Tuesday, which was the Halloween Horror Marathon, I had hit the highest number of subscribers ever, sub subsequent, like, like at one time. Yes, so, uh, I had hit, boom, this big milestone, and pretty awesome that I did, very appreciative, uh, of that, alright? Give their money, give their money, then that's all I care about. I got paid for your stupidity. Thanks for the money, dummies. The other thing I want to talk about is Patreon, ladies and gentlemen, because I do want to be honest with you, we did not hit the funding goal for October. And although a few, a few more people did kind of step up and pledge last minute, uh, it wasn't enough. We were way under. I mean, if it was about $200, we were under the goal, all right? So what I'm doing is I'm reevaluating Patreon at this point, because here's, honestly, here's what I think has happened, all right? 
I think that a lot of people who used to be ongoing Patreon supporters of mine have said, well, Phil has pretty much given up on having a YouTube focus. And therefore, you know, we're more focused on streams. We want to watch them on stream. We want to support them on stream. So we go and we cheer and we sub and we tip. And none of that counts towards Patreon, which kind of sucks because, I, you know, there are people who've done a lot of tipping and they help me out tremendously, but that doesn't count towards like a Patreon goal or whatever. And they're like, well, you know, that sucks. I want to do this. I want, I'd rather do the streaming. And that's why Patreon has kind of suffered for it. So there's a few things I'm looking to do. Um, sadly, I don't think one of them is going to work. What I wanted to do was I wanted to integrate Patreon into my streaming, meaning if you subbed or, or uh, pledged to my Patreon, that there would be like a pop-up message on stream to do that, to thank you for it. Because then at least the patrons would also be getting immediate shout outs and maybe it would, it would you know, convince some people to pledge who otherwise wouldn't. Uh, but there's no way to do that. <clears throat> I looked it up and it doesn't exist. Um, yeah, it sucks. There's no way to link Patreon. Like, you can link Patreon with Muxy, and Muxy will track pledges, but Muxy will not get, do pop-up messages for pledges. So, that's out of the, that's out of the, the consideration for some reason. I don't know why they don't do that. I would think they would, but they don't. Um, which sucks. That's number one. Number two, what I'm looking to do is, uh, how can I say it? Um, I'm looking to have it so that Patreon will tie in with stream events. So that you could all send me money. So let me give you an example. Maybe what I'll do is this. Um, we, we could do a dual a dual event celebration. So for example, let's say... Now this is a hypothetical. Now this is not actually what's going to happen. Hypothetical. For the month of January, if we hit a certain number of subscribers here on Twitch, let's say I, I really want to motivate people to sub. So if we hit 300 subscribers on Twitch, I will do a special celebratory event in February... Well, I don't know what it would be yet. It's just a hypothetical. But if you pledge $5 or more to my Patreon in January, you'll be nominating and voting on the games that'll be in that event. So if you sub to the channel, you make the event happen. If you pledge to my Patreon, you can control the event. You see what I mean? So this splits it up. So at least now there's motivation for the people who are here and contributing on the streams to contribute more? Come watch me and give me monies. And if you don't, I'll have no life and no way to make money. Right? And that way the event will happen, and then the bonus is that if you pledge to Patreon, now you get to control that event. I think this is a good idea, and I want to give a shout-out to Nick. And he just said it in the stream chat, by the way. He's trying to take credit. Yes, it is Nick. Nick gave me this idea. Man, I'm stupid. Completely brain dead. And I was like, I think this is good. Because it's going to motivate people not only to participate where they're already participating, right? <clears throat> but it also is going to motivate people to also go the extra mile if they really want to have a part of this event, okay? So that's what I'm thinking it's going to be, is that it's going to be like a dual thing. Get people to, to participate on Twitch, and then get people to participate on Patreon, and that way the events still happen. But I still, I make out, because obviously I'll get additional subs and stuff here on Twitch. That's going to work out for me. I can't, I certainly won't complain there. I, I get all that money. You know how rude it is to ask people about money? You should not ask about fucking money. And Phil's a beggar. Right? And then... You know, on Patreon, that the control of the event on Patreon also could work, right? Now, it's not it's not implemented yet. What I need to do, I need to think about this for a while to think of a good event that I could do for that. Ladies and gentlemen, November's Patreon goal, okay? November's Patreon goal is a holiday gaming marathon, Christmas themed, all right? If you pledge to my Patreon this month and if we hit the funding goal, I'm going to be doing a marathon of gaming either on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. I, I, I obviously... Either day, some people are going to be busy. So maybe I'll even do it the day before. Maybe I'll do it December 23rd. You know what I mean? Just so that way, people who are not available exactly on the day would still be able to watch this marathon, especially if they con they contribute. And what it's going to be is people who pledge $5 or more this month to my Patreon are going to be able to nominate and then vote on Christmas-themed video games for me to play during this marathon. <laughs> Shout out to Waifu Destroyer Matt, who did a $2 tip. <laughs> Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. He says, since the Patreon goal in October didn't get hit, maybe you should mix up the goals to increase interest. Have you thought about a live stream cooking with the king? I think that would be the goal. No problem. Keep hit the goal. No problem. Keep on keeping on. First of all, to do a live stream cooking with the king, I would need to find a way to live stream from my kitchen. The only thing I can think of is my phone, and I can't guarantee that the quality would be great because I've never done that before. So number one, you may have me setting up a goal, it hits the goal, and then the quality of the stream or video or whatever you want to say is absolutely terrible. Number two, I don't know what the hell I would make because I, when I did Cooking with the King, I literally made all the recipes I knew. This is what people don't seem to understand. I've said it a million times over the years and they don't listen. Um, the reason Cooking with the King ended is because I had nothing else to make. The whole point of the series 
was Phil makes really simple to make meals that gamers could easily make. I mean, think of the things I would make. Grilled cheese, uh, scrambled eggs, a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich, uh, French toast, you know. Those were the things I was making. And some things that I made, I fucked up. Even the most simple things, some things I would fuck up. Um, I don't have anything else I can make. I made, I already made my Italian sauce in videos. That's done, it's been done since 2014 I did that. So there's nothing else for me to do. And you're like, oh, I want you to start making elab an elaborate recipe from a cookbook. I was thought, dude, it's not gonna happen. Number one, I'm gonna be by myself. How am I gonna do elaborate cooking by myself? Number two, uh, I'm not a good cook. It's not gonna come out good. Like, there's no point in doing this. I wanna spend all this time and money making this elaborate meal that comes out like shit. <laughs> wow, that's a great stream for everyone. Me making a pile of shit. How about this? I'll do a live stream and I'll just shit on a plate. I'm a mature adult. <laughs> so, see, that's what I mean, like, there's no reason, that, right, that's why it was called Poorly Cooking with the King, because it was me basically being silly, making silly little meals. The idea died six years ago. Guys, it's, it's been dead for a million years. Here, let me put it this way. Would I consider doing a live stream special event for Patreon? Yes. Would it be Cooking with the King? No! You think I'm the villain? Go fuck yourself. I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.